All right, so I came here to get a fox face. They have one, but I just don't really like how it looks. But there's some other fish that caught my eye here, and we're gonna go look at them right now. But look at this tank right here. They got this cool torch coral right here. This golden torch coral is pretty freaking big. I love that torch coral. They got some more encrusting corals right here in the middle. They got a nice purple tang, angel fish, some little anthias right there. Another tang over there in the corner, not sure if you can see that. They got some bird's nests, and this is pretty cool right here. This spells out top shelf right here. That's the fish store we're at right now, so that is pretty freaking cool. And, oh, I like this right here. This Monte Coro that's right here. Red, green, and then they got like a neon green. That's pretty freaking cool. Let's go pick out some fish, and I'm not sure what we're gonna get, so hopefully my pockets don't hurt. So we just got back from Top Shelf. We couldn't really record there that much because of the music, it was very loud, but whatever. We've been trying to get a fish for this tank for months now. It is finally ready. This tank has been running now for like four months, somewhere around there. But before we start that, let me just show you the clownfish really quick from the last video. As you guys can see, they are still obviously hosting the anemone. They go from anemone to anemone, which is really cool. We got our premium snowflake clownfish right there and our regular oscillators clownfish and BioCube is still doing good. So that was a quick update on the BioCube. Just so you guys know, if you didn't see the last video, go check it out. We've got the clownfish from saltwateraquarium.com, so check out the last video if you haven't. But come here and look at Koda. He's already being nosy, trying to see what's inside the bucket. And let me show you really quick. We got our blue throat trigger fish. Let me bring him to... Now you really can't see him that well right now, obviously because he's in the bucket and the bucket's orange and it's dark. But we're gonna be acclimating, acclimating him in the bucket right now. We're just gonna be throwing water from the tank into the bucket. We'll do that about every 10 minutes. So we're just gonna be putting about half a cup in here every single time, about every 10 to 15 minutes, that should be good. And then after probably about like 45 minutes or so, we are gonna start putting him in the tank. So come here, we're gonna dump some water in. So we're gonna do the same thing in about another 10 or 15 minutes. So instead of the fish store putting them straight into the plastic bag like they normally do, I asked them if they could put them in the bucket so like that we can reduce the use of plastic. So that's what I'm doing. And that's why he's in the bucket if you guys were wondering. But we'll be back in another 10 or 15 minutes, add another cup, and then we'll keep doing the same process until it's been 45 minutes to an hour. All right, round two gonna put about the same amount we put the first time you can see right there half a cup it's already been about 10 or 15 minutes pour it in there don't want to just throw it all in there just so he won't get scared and we'll be back in about 10 more minutes all right so Coda's is dying to eat some food and we need to put our third cup into the bucket so let's do that right now wait 
he's been dying to get some food. But let's get some more. This time I'm gonna do more just because it's already been about 35 minutes to 40 minutes somewhere around there. And I'm about to put them in the tank, but we're gonna put a bigger cup this time. And now we're gonna wait like five more minutes and then we'll throw them in the tank. And Coda, go, go eat. He's been dying to eat. So we'll be back. So the Heat are playing the Celtics game five. Hopefully they win today. But this is the only net I have. I know, I need a bigger net. This guy's a lot bigger than the net, obviously. So we're gonna have to do this quick. Let him come out on his own. He might be stuck on the net. No, actually he's not. He's good. He just doesn't want to get out. There we go. Boom! He's actually a lot bigger than I thought. We finally have a fish in the 65 gallon tank. It's been over like, I don't even know. It's probably been like way over a year now that I've been wanting to do this. But we have a fish in here finally. We're gonna wake up tomorrow in the morning, check out how he's doing. So we gotta speed this up a little bit because I have another video waiting and we have to get to it really fast. But I'm gonna show you the trigger fish really quick. I said we were gonna come back in a couple of days. It's been way more than that. It's probably been like a week or two, my bad. But he is a really good fish. He has been behaving really well. He hasn't attacked any of the corals yet that I've seen. Everything looks the same. So, so far so good with the corals. The only thing that's bothering me is that he stays in the back hiding whenever I come out. Whenever I'm just sitting down on the couch or something, he's out and swimming. As soon as I get up to the glass, he hides in the back. So hopefully once we add some new fish, he'll get comfortable and stay out. But as of now, when he's in the tank by himself, he is hiding in the back right here. You can see him right here under this cave. He, he's just super skittish, super shy. But we are gonna feed him really quick just so you guys can see how healthy he's doing. All right, so we got some food right here. It's probably like half of a block, a little bit less than that. But I need to feed him really quick just so you guys can see how he's... We turn on both filters so like that the food could stay in the tank and it doesn't go into the filter system. So we just threw a little piece in. And now we're gonna throw in the big piece. This guy eats a lot. That's really good. That's one good thing I like about him. He does eat a lot. He will eat all this food. You'll see him come out. That's even if he does come out, he'll probably just wait for the food to go to the back. But you can just come right here, get the side view. And you'll see him mowing down on the shrimp. He eats a lot, like I said. Triggerfish do eat a lot. Uh, one thing I have noticed about triggerfish uh, ever since I've been keeping them, trying to look as you can see, he does eat. I've kept some trigger, uh, triggerfish already. I've had probably like four or five ever since I've been in the hobby. Every single time I get one, they are pretty shy. So if you do get one, they're probably gonna start doing what this guy's doing. He just hides in the back for a little bit and is scared to come out. But he will come out and eat a lot of food. So that's one good thing. But all the trigger fish I've had before, they are exactly like this. So this is nothing new to me. I just don't like that he does it. It's kind of annoying. But you can see him eating and tearing down the shrimp. Also, I just wanted to say this because that was the coolest thing. When we were at the fish store, I remember this to this day because it's been like a week or two already since it happened. But that purple tank that was in that tank, that was cool. That was the first time I've ever seen a purple tank like that. I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you know what a purple tank is, it's uh, the fish we saw at the fish store. It was purple body, yellow tail. This purple tank was purple body, purple tail. That was the first time I've ever seen that. That was pretty freaking cool. And it was 2,500, I believe she said. So crazy expensive for a fish like that because normally they're around 200 bucks the regular purple tanks but that one was 2500 so that was pretty crazy and look at this code i'm trying to film here buddy anyways you guys saw him tear down the shrimp he does this religiously continuously every day he eats a lot so we gotta rush to the other video already you will see it in the next video if you guys stay tuned Stay tuned, subscribe, check out the next video. It is gonna be really cool. It's gonna be for this tank as well. So smash the like button. Let me know what you think about the blue jaw trigger fish and Coda, get off of my feet. So thank you guys. Gotta rush to the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace.